Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. Now, this is one of the biggest videos that I've made pretty much ever on this channel. It's a big announcement. I will be partnering up with J Tips. If you guys don't know him, he's a great man, YouTuber does tips. He's got an ebook site, and I'm partnering up with him to make a Gun Bunch Offset ebook. Now, this is not going to be just any ebook. This is going to be the best offense in Madden 22 by a long shot. I have not seen anything like this. Ever pretty much offense is so tough this year and if you want to be effective moving the ball this is going to be the offense to do it for you now in this video what i will do is i will show you a glimpse of the offense a little bit that i want to show you but of course i can't show you everything because this is going to be an ebook uh, that is going to be sold so i hope you guys understand that but these tips still will help you help you out a lot now, if you don't want to miss any free schemes in the future which i will upload to this channel of course i will continue to do that uh, subscribe to this channel it would support me so much you guys don't even know how much the youtube algorithm likes it when people subscribe and it would just make me feel better now let's talk about this let's get into it the first thing that i want to show you is how to block the main pressure that people are sending right now against gun bunch which is out, which is out of 3 to 5 wide and it is out of the play mike blitz 3 now if you guys don't know that yet you'll also get a little bit of a defensive lesson and we'll just do this out of double post because i think this is the best play also the audibles that i set are double post and for p i really like to go with mesh post or i like to go with curl flat one of the two which i won't even prefer i go with mesh i'll go with mesh post for now uh verts and uh inside zone i keep those because i think the inside zone is actually pretty glitchy Double post, let's get into this. So I'm gonna just spot the ball back a little bit because I also wanna show you some passing concepts after this. What you do is you, first of all, you set up a little bit, which so is pinch the entire defense, just like that. You're gonna move this guy back. You're gonna crash to the outside twice, so it registers, you're gonna QB contain, and then you're gonna hug this gap. You're not gonna engage, but you're gonna hug this gap. Now what you do is, uh, against the five man, this is five man out, this is gonna come in 100% of the time. Like, this is almost a guarantee. 100% is crass because sometimes uh, people trip. But this is a very consistent blitz against the five man out. Now, if, they block, if you block your running back, you will see that, that this is not the most consistent thing in the world. I just run pretty much any route combo. The running back is blocked. You just can't see it. So right now, boom, boom, boom. You see how he kind of loops around. And if he's a little bit faster, that Drake Reed law I'm talking about. Uh, can we get some pressure? Thank you. Uh, he will loop around the halfback and that is going to be an easy sack that you're not going to want to take. Now, if you want to block this blitz 100% of the time, what you do is you... I'll just first reset up the blitz. There you go. You just block the tight end or you can put him on a delay fade, whatever. The running back is not going to do a good job blocking this. However, if you just put the tight end... Can we please show our, my adjustments? Thank you. If you put the tight end on a delay fade, that's just an extra blocker that's gonna make sure that the line can pick this up so this uh, setup on defense and now the delay fade you can see how everybody is engaged there's no way that's that blitz is gonna come in it's it's just guarantee blocking also the packers offensive line is doing crazy right now uh blocking every single uh, rusher so we're gonna do this one more time and then we're gonna move on to the actual pass concepts since those i think are a little bit more interesting but this is an important part of the game too no other pick up blitzes that's how are you gonna get time? How are you gonna get your routes to develop down the field? So right here, everything is covered. Boom, boom, boom. But blitz is not coming in. That's what we want to have. I mean, that out of the way, let's get into the basic setup of three plays. I want to talk about double post. I want to talk about mesh post, and I want to talk about bench pivot. Those three plays last year they were amazing. This year, just as good, just as good, if not even better. Uh, on defense, I'll just come out and cover three busts, just because I don't want to always have to adjust my zones. Uh, but what you do out of this very very simple is you just put the uh, point man in the bunch on the drag This is the easiest play in the world to run if you can hit that tight end right off the snap do it all the time This is the best route in the game in my opinion these tight end outs uh, not tight end outs uh, these Tight end flats and the running back out route just like that is also great You can see how this gets out of the backfield and I can just throw that that's also a man beating route so throw it to the flat whenever you can, you're gonna have a lot of fun. Now if we, let's say, that we don't think the flat is open, then we can look to it either the drag or the triangle on the, the halfback on the under route, which is what the route is called. That is, that is very difficult for you to defend, precisely because these are pretty much this, oh my god, if we can get the running back out of the backfield. These are pretty much the same route, uh, because they hit the same spot of the field, with the same timing, 
just on the opposite hash marks. This is really difficult to defend uh, because also the running back just beats man coverage. So in this case, I can just check it down. That's a simple read. Now, cover, uh, cover three bus is not something that is run a lot, so there will not be a zone there. Don't you worry about that. But just to show, this is a very simple concept. Now, the post route on this play is really, it's pretty much the last read that you want to make. This is a nice route that you can pass lead down against cover three. You can see how this doesn't look open, but if I pass lead it down and possession catch it, then this can be thrown. Now, you need high throw power for this. And if you have set feed lead, this will make it easier because then you have a fast throwing animation. But just basically throw it right there, try to possession catch it. Make sure to not get hit, that will be of course tragic. And not to forget the backside C route on the solo wide receiver. Uh, right there that curl flat matched. But a lot of the times gonna, your opponent is gonna have zone drops on and then this will not match. So first of all, let me just uh, quickly protect the sticks. Now you will see how this doesn't match and I can just throw that to the sideline with a pass lead to the sideline. That's the last read combined with the double post. Just in general, to sum this play up, this is the best play in the game, stock. It's a nice quick high play. Just gotta do that and then snap the ball, throw it to the tight end and get five to seven yards easy. Run this whenever you can. This is an every down play. My god, is this good. Moving on now to this bench pivot. Now, this was my favorite play last year. It's still pretty good this year. Not as amazing as last year because I don't yet have escape artist. But what you do is just simply use street cob. You're gonna motion Lazard to the outside. Try to get enough time, and if you can get to the outside, you can try to throw that. Now, that, that of course looked terrible. In this instance, you should hit the out drop. My bad, I'll just redo that. Motion snap to the outside, snap the ball. Okay, he's open. I'll throw it to him. Easy 10 yards. Easy, easy 10 yards, especially against the back of coverage. Cover three. This is, a, this is a money play against cover three. And let's just wait a little bit. Now I can throw this delay in, uh, this in route with a nice delay. This really spreads out the user. They're going to have to either cover the corner route or the out route because one of those two is likely going to be open because zone drops don't work this year properly yet. Please, Clint, fix the zones, will ya? Uh, so, your opponent user is likely going to be out of the middle of the field and this backside in route really attacks that now. Just to show you that this corner route does get open, I'm going to run this against hard flats now. So, now we know that... Uh, let's see. Okay. I could still throw that, but if I wait a little bit longer, I can throw... It to the, uh, I can throw it to the outro, uh, the, the outro, the corner out. My bad. Yeah, there's not much more to this. Against this cover three boss, this will be a one play touchdown. I'll just run this really quickly, but I'll give you the caveat for why I don't think that this is the best one play touchdown in the game. Because if we were to look at how Mike Blitz three, which is what most people run if they want to run a cover three, out of three five is set up. Uh, we we have all of these guys blitzing. These linebackers are all blitzing. This guy right here is in a curl flat. This guy right here is in a deep zone. And this guy right here is in the curl flat. That is how this is set up. Now I'll just spy these guys because I don't want any pressure. And with the inside third coming from the bunch side of the field, you will see that if I try to run this, this is not open just because the safety starts off in a better position to play that. And because of that, I will not sell this to you as a cover three beater. Just know that if your opponent is running some uh, sort of cover three and the safety in the deep zone is on this side right here, this is a cover three bomb. It's just not the best one because Mike Blitz three just backs this and you don't even have to adjust for a cover three beater because the inside third is just there. It's important to know that. I think this is good. To, uh, this is also important to not shy away from a route concept like this, but just take it with a grain of salt. This is not gonna work every time necessarily, depending on where the deep safety, uh, where the middle third safety is at. Just for you guys to know. Now to end this video, we're gonna talk about mesh uh, post. This is one of the most popular plays every year and for good reasons. Let's talk about those reasons right now, actually. The wheel route is amazing and you can just snap this play stock. You can also block the running back. This is just a great stock play. It hits every part of the field. Very, very cool. Maybe not the, not every part of the field. It doesn't have a corner out, but just in general, this is a very nice stock play. But what I do most of the time is I like to hitch Adams, uh, hitch Adams, out Adams, and put Cobb on a hitch. Now you can either keep the man into block, uh, the post in, uh, into block. You can either keep him in a spot or you can 
uh, motion snap him to the outside just like that snap the ball right here and now you just have to make a read this wheel route is amazing it gets open against cover three so consistently against cover two and man coverage meh, not so great but against cover three man is this money and then once you wait a little bit longer you can throw this post across the middle uh, with a pass lead down and possession catch it and now we get to talk about why this play is so effective this is so effective because it spreads out the defense the opponent is either gonna have to choose to cover the wheel route on the left or he's gonna have to cover uh, either the hitch or the post on the bunch side and this just really stretches the user i like this uh hitch route especially because this gets open against a lot of cover threes not against this specific one because in cover three bus there's a zone right there but against most cover threes they'll be run out of the uh mag pits three out of three to five wide this hitch will get in a nice tender area it is not a guaranteed throw and just be wary that your opponent might sit on that hitch because a lot of people just throw that automatically as soon as the play uh, develops so let's say they snap the ball okay i want to throw the ball that's a pick right there so be careful with throwing that hitch this sometimes gets lurked uh, but if your opponent just stays in the middle of the field like fred warner is right here you can just throw that you can just throw it regularly i like just throw it with a low pass this is especially nice near the in the red zone because everything is so tight back there uh down there this is a very consistent route to throw and if you throw it with a low pass just like that then you get some very nice animations that right there is almost never a drop even if a man interacts with it this is almost never a drop low pass possession catch it you'll have a wonderful time now we're at the end of the video i want to encourage you to check out the ebook on jtips inside it's going to be 20 bucks which is pretty expensive guys i know that 20 bucks not every ha everyone has that lying around but if you want to take your Madden game to the next level, if you want to make sure to get more wins in Weekend League, to make more coins winning games in seasons, this is the way to do it. This is the best offense this year. If you run this offense correctly, I do not see you getting stopped anytime soon. And you will improve. I'll say it. If you're not already a legend caliber player, you will double your offensive output easily with this. Easily. That's a guarantee that I'll make to you. Check out the ebook on JTips' site. For now, I'm signing off. I appreciate you watching this. Till next time, goodbye, guys. Don't worry. I will still release free schemes on here. Don't you worry about that. This is just too good to give away. Till next time, goodbye, guys. See you tomorrow. Peace out. And I love y'all so much.